Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here, and today I'm here to report on the latest Halo Infinite news that 343 posted on Waypoint. First thing you'll notice is a brand new piece of concept art, a Forerunner interior by 343, which looks awesome and it looks like we'll be able to go into broken uh, interior parts of the ring, which is pretty cool. The audio team for Halo Infinite is comprised of four dudes. Infinite's audio director, so Satora Tojima, audio technical designer Chase Thompson, uh, lead sound designer Kyle Fraser, and music supervisor jo Joel Yarger. I hope I said their names right. Now there were a lot of questions asked for these composers and they answered, but I'm not going to cover all of them. If you want to read every piece of detail, I'll link the full blog down in the description. I'm just going to read the important highlights in my opinion. So to start off, Satara says that they've been gathering audio feedback ever since Halo 5 shipped. After Halo 5, their goals are to recapture the legacy essence of Halo and strengthen the excitement and impact of Halo's combat. So Tara also mentions describing Halo Infinite's music with words such as hope and believe while embracing the mystery and beauty of Zeta Halo. Joel says the audio team has a set of core pillars they like to stick to such as hope, ancient mystery slash sci-fi, and military slash honor slash sense of duty. He basically says each of these themes create a sense of wonder and heroism for Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite apparently uses a new audio system now, which is cool I guess, and an example of that would be these two images you'll see on screen. Now for something really cool the audio team has shared with us. First, here's the sound of Halo 5's battle rifle. Now here is the sound of Infinite's battle rifle. After that, they shared lots of audio technical stuff that sounds cool, but I don't know shit about audio. And other than that, I can say that it I can say that either like it sounds like crap or like hey that sounds really awesome. But here's a new screenshot they said with us. Not sure if this is a new area but I think it's an overhead view of the beginning portion of the gameplay demo we got in July of last year. And I'm assuming these colored dots are some sort of audio points for different sounds and whatnot. I don't know. I'm just guessing. 343 also shares with us a sample of ambient sounds for Froner interiors in Halo Infinite which I will link in the description down below. Unexpectedly, the audio team reveals to us a new weapon in Halo Infinite called the Skewer. A new weapon from the Banished, which I'll show you here. I mean, this thing looks pretty cool. It looks like 343 took some inspiration from the spiker from Halo 3, and it looks like a single shot weapon with just that one spike sticking out, but I don't know. Overall, it looks cool. The audio team also shares with us what the weapon sounds like. So here's what they sound like in pieces. Now here's what the gun really sounds like when you put all the audio pieces together. Kyle mentions that his favorite audio piece he's heard so far from a, are from another new weapon which of course we don't know about, and he likes the sound of a new vehicle he mentions, and both of them he gave no hints as to what they are. Kyle also says that they heard feedback about Halo 5's AI when we said they weren't fun to fight and that the music was sounded too rich at times in Halo 5's campaign. They believe that the gunfire was too hard to listen to at times because the music was too loud in Halo 5's campaign, which I can kind of agree with. Overall, the audio team is working very, still working very hard on the game and they can't wait for us to play it this fall. Finally, a word from our Lord and Savior, Joseph Staten, and he says, With all the detail in this update, you might have missed Tajin's description on, of Infinite's new threat detection system. The system that now analyzes all active weapon sounds frame by frame and prioritizes them in threat order. 
This might sound like a small and subtle thing, but when you experience audio threat prioritization working in concert with all the other audio systems, it's incredible how much this new feature enhances your situational awareness and invigorates your sandbox choices. For example, Earlier this week, I was playing the game with a focus of rescuing scattered marine, scattered squads of marines from their banished captors. After one triumphant jailbreak, two high-spirited marines piled into my warthog, and we sped jaunt, jauntily down a dirt road into a forested valley. Just as the morning sun was peeking through Zeta Halo's shattered arc, one cue, a hopeful piece of music, began to play. And no joke, some of the ring's alien birds started chirping in the passing under underbrush which was of course when hell when all hell broke loose heavy weapon fire incoming one of the marines shouted the rest of the world grew quiet clearing the soundscape for a roar that erupted stereo right the same roar that had been drilled into my brain's fear center since halo ce that's a spanker i recognized a split second before its familiar smoky contrail tore across the warthog's hood and exploded against a tree to, to my left and where there's one spanker rocket a second isn't far behind i threw the warthog into reverse only to hear an unseen unseen grunt yell tossing a flare followed by a signature lump in your throat electronic chirp of a plasma grenade as it stuck itself into the bumper of the hog oh yeah another grunt quit that human's gonna die today <laughs> Cursing under my breath, I leaped from my warthog and sprinted into the trees, followed by the marines. Just as the grenade burst, totaling the warthog, a moment later, spanker rocket number two ripped a hole into the audio universe, and then thudded into the dirt and gravel at the edge of the tree line. As the debris clattered the, to ground like rocky rain, a jackal crowded in the distance. Run, human. Run. Hide. I want to duct tape your beak shut, one of the marines barked back. When I appreciated the marine's plucky retort, I wanted to tell him, yeah, here's the thing, without audio threat prioritization, you, me, and your buddy hiding in the, in the bush over there would all be cooked in the spanker-fueled fireball and respawning back in hopeful and alien birdland. But instead, I traded my sidekick pistol for his bulldog shotgun, and we started moving stealthily through the trees to flank our banished ambushers and give them a taste of their own medicine. So, audio threat prioritization, it's awesome. And I also want to give a shout out to all the work the team has done writing and recording great dialogue. For examples of non-player character dialogue from the story above are just a small handful of thousands of lines of NPC dialogue that we've designed to inform, amuse, celebrate, and taunt you sometimes in new and delightful deliverous ways. This reactive character-ish dialogue has always been a Halo hallmark, and it's sounding better than ever in Halo Infinite. So that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed what you heard today, leave a like and share the video with anyone who's looking forward to Halo Infinite this fall. Until next time, peace.